Hello everybody, it's Baldrick Sodoff here and this is how you use light machine gun successfully on Black Ops 2 without wasting any money. So as you can see I've got the RPD and the hammer. I don't have the LSAT. In this video today I'll be going through how to maximize your LMG use. So that is by buying stamina up is a very important factor because you need to be able to run fast I would have died there without stamina up and almost did anyway but you see my point you need stamina up for light machine guns if you are going to use them you don't need to slide a hand because you hardly ever reload with these guns I've got so many bullets hip fire works great so to maximize the points on this you want to use up every single bullet until you run out, then you can pack a punch. And that is maximizing. Don't bother. If you've got the hammer and the RPD, pack a punch for hammer because you can pack a punch it twice and get attachments on it. And I'll go through the attachments not to get and the attachments what you should get. Insta kills great because you can just spray the crap out of everything like that. Seems to work fine. I know I'm wasting a lot of ammo, but I've got a lot of points now. I'll fast forward it to when I pack a punch. So remember, use all your ammo up before you pack a punch, unless you're in an emergency. Hello everybody again, this is Baldrick sort of back here, and this is the hammer with a ACOG attachment. As you can see, the aim's a bit slow, and it gives you a bunny as the sight. Pretty calming for zombies. But, I don't reckon this is the way to go. The aim's too slow, and you and you want to aim pretty fast in zombies. I'll give you some gameplay with it, so you can see how bad, or maybe if you think it's good, you can use it. Hello everybody, uh, I'm back, and this is for gameplay with a... Uh, ACOG scope on the hammer. As you can see, it's a bit too slow, but it does have some benefits. If you're medium distance like here, it works fine. Anyway, this is probably getting a bit boring with this scope. Let's get into some more better attachments. Hello everybody, I'm back and now I've got the red dot sight attachment. Well, it's not exactly a red dot sight, it's got a green... Re uh, it's got a green sight to it, but I reckon this is the best thing you can have for zombies. It lets you aim quickly and it's accurate. And it's got a better visibility than the iron sight. You can't go wrong with this. Look how good that works. And remember, doing it twice only costs $2,000, so don't worry about it. So here we go. See how well it works? You can quickly snap down your targets and, sh and shoot away. Uh, my next attachment will be coming now. Hello everybody, I'm back now, and as you can see I've got the grip if you look closely. I do not recommend using this attachment as it only increases accuracy by a bit. And when you're running, you don't particularly need you don't particularly need very much accuracy at all. Hip firing works perfect, so the grip isn't the way to go. But if you want to give it a go, you can. And I also think it makes it aim a bit faster. Yeah, it does that as well. But apart from that, it's fine. It's better than having no grip. Anyway, my next attachment will be coming right now. Uh, hello, it's Baldrick Sodoff back here, and that covers all the attachments for this LMG, the hammer, and most of them. I think you might be able to get the uh, 
what's it called, the target finder, but that is highly not recommended for zombies at all. It's too slow, and it's crap, because you have, because it gives you a limited view, and it slows you down heaps. So, I hope you enjoyed this video showing how to maximize your points and your weapon on Black Ops 2 Zombies for light machine guns. Please watch some of my other videos and if you liked this video give it a like and if you want to see any more of my videos I would really 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 appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. See you later.